You're watching Chewing the Cud. So he told me to back it up because it'll fit, and then I failed my driving test. So yeah, it's been a bit of a bad week, really. Yeah, how has your week been, Mike? Any better? I say it's been okay. I've been getting. To, I've got new nails. Oh, very nice, very jazzy. What's I, the occasion? Um, it's it's a day in the ending letter Y. Very nice, very nice. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. <laughs> today we've got the buzz with Mike. What have you got on the buzz for us today, Mike? Well, today I've got a story about a TikTok trend that is literally spraying people in the face with a fluid. Sounds like something on another side of the internet that we're not very well acquainted with because we're a family-friendly show. Very nice. <laughs> Are we family-friendly? I mean, it depends on your kind of family. Isn't it? Families come in all shapes and sizes. They do, yes. So, very family-friendly. Mm. Now, on screen now, you can see our contact information. It is at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. It is thecud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names Womble, yes, Womble, across the bottom of the screen, it's time for this week's showbiz with Jay. So, have you heard of a famous person in showbiz whose surname is Paige and their first initial is E? Oh, God. Is this one for your bank again? It is very much one for my bank. It's my favourite, Mr. Elliot Page. Oh, not Got Mick then? Oh, no, not Got Mick. No, Got Mick's... Oh, I don't know what Got Mick's up to these days. Have you seen him recently? He's got dropped off the face. Yes, Got Mick, if you can see this, call me, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch uh, Instagram stalk Got Mick. Um, so I have a habit of messaging Got Mick after a few drinks, messaging him where I am in the village and asking him to come for drinks. So thanks for, yeah. thanks for bringing that up. No, no we're talking today about Elliot Page, uh -huh. um, who is trans ambassador, trans icon, recently come out and is starring in the Umbrella Academy. Have you seen the Umbrella Academy? I love the Umbrella Academy. Fantastic. Yes. So you'll know exactly what's happening. So on screen, we've got Elliot Page acting in the Umbrella Academy. And they're going to be addressing his transition as okay, part of cool. the show. So obviously Elliot was a female and now he's transitioned to male. And they're going to be dealing with his process, his medical transition on the show, which is fantastic That's good. for trans visibility. Obviously, it's really good to have uh, trans queer representation, especially, yeah. you know, younger trans male members of the community. Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult for him to come out. He had a long standing career as a female actor yeah, and yeah. now he's coming out as male. You know, it's fitting into that male role. So it's really, really good to see him come in. Into, into himself, really, on screen. Coming into himself. Coming into now himself. Now, that is I, a trick. I did <laughs> Elliot that Page, once. come into me instead, please. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> and got Mick as well. Let's have a party. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what you said about this being a family friendly show? They are my family. Uh, we are family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it the sisters? No, it's the point of sisters. Never mind. Fuck <laughs> it was the sister sisters. Right, anyway, Elliot anyway, Page. Anyway, Elliot Page. Page. So they're going to deal with his transition. Yeah, so yeah. obviously his character previously had a female name. Now he's Victor, as opposed to that oh, name. So we've Victor. got Victor's promo picture on the screen as well. He's looking gorgeous, as usual. Look at his fantastic little jawline, his jacket. Gorgeous character. And they're going to be addressing a lot of heavy subjects as well in this season. So it's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing it. So yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to the Umbrella Academy and seeing how they deal with Victor. So that's going to be good. You know, I'm really excited for it to come out. I think the season's coming out in the next few months, so good. it's really good. It's got him just after his top surgery, so he's going to be all recovered and ready to dazzle us on camera. Cool. So we've also got Simon Fuller. Do you know who Simon Fuller is? Because I didn't oh. have a clue who Simon Fuller was. He's the, he's the... Do you remember Nasty Nigel from Pop Idol? No, I don't. You know how Lee called you a fetus the other week? Yes. Yeah. I'm reiterating that. Um, Simon Cowell, when he was being nasty. So I actually. thought Simon Fuller was Simon Cowell. Cowell. So I was thinking of this guy with his pants pulled up and I saw a picture of him. I was like, this is not the same dude. No, he's, he's the guy that, that, that brought us the Spice Girls. Oh, right. Okay. So he manufactured the yeah. Spice Girls. Yeah. So anyway, Simon Fuller, not Simon Cowell, who did the Spice Girls, has now come up with a new... <laughs> he did the Spice Girls. He did all of there's, them. There's one after room. the other. <laughs> choo choo train. Um, <laughs> So Simon Fuller, who brought us the Spice Girls, as we've got a picture on screen here, Simon, Ka Simon Fuller Not and Cal. the Spice Girls, look yeah. at him. Uh, they all look very young that's and healthy. Quite, that's quite a recent picture. Is it? Because well, they've all got their natural faces. There's not much Botox and filler going on there. Well, it's, it's not one of their first photos because, you know, they're all wearing clothes. That is true. That is true. Anyway, this guy has now decided to bring the pop band back into the 21st century okay. by putting together what's called a hype house. Um, so the concept Ooh. of a hype house is a bit of a TikTok, YouTube phenomenon where you get a load of creators and they all put live together in one house and they all work together, collaborate together, live together and film their adventures. It's like So it's Big Brother. Kind of, yeah. So you document your adventures 
as your little hype house. So you've got different hype yeah, houses for music, you've got them for YouTube, makeup tutorial people, you've got queer ones, trans ones. I would love to live Makeup that. tutorial hype houses. Yeah, yeah. A lot so, of people going, oh, this is how you do blusher. So all the makeup artists live together and work together. That, that's what happens in a hype house. You kind of share projects, share models. It's an amazing concept. They share models. They share everything. It's a hype house. They what's share yours everything. Is, what's yours is mine. What's yours is what mine is yours, including gonorrhea, right? Okay. So, yes. So this is the hype house. Anyway, Simon Fuller has put together a hype house to make a new pop band to fit the 20 sec 21st century. So this is Simon Fuller's new project. They're called Future X and they've all been put together from TikTok. So all these people are TikTok TikTokers and music, uh, musicians. That's so, nice. And, and, and three of them I would do. I, I would probably do... I'm not going to lie to you, I would do all of them. Not going to lie, a bit of buy visibility here on show today. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the... So Simon Fuller's put this together to make the concept of a pop band more 21st century because the whole thing of girl bands and boy bands is a little bit 90s, a little bit dated. So they put this together. Bit 90s and a little bit dated. It is a little bit old. They're manufacturing songs. Yeah, but it's different now because these are TikTokers. It's slightly So different. instead of reading the stage, which is a magazine that used to read to become a, in a pop star, they're on TikTok and someone's going, I choose you. Justin Bieber, YouTube. TikTok. It's just, it's not new. Okay, well, these it's are good. Different these are, these are very, very good. And That's what they said about it's... Justin Bieber. Look what I ended up with there. Right, listen, we are, we, I was a former Bieber. I used to have Bieber hair. Former? I used to like a bit of Biebs, I can't lie. I used to have the Bieber hair. I used to tie my hoodie strings, wear the baseball cap and everything. I was actually pre-transitioned featured on something called Lesbians Who Look Like Justin Bieber. And I was... I've seen that website. We've featured that website I, I on was on show. that website. I had my little comb over, my little big glasses and everything. Awful, awful pictures. Don't go looking for them, please, anybody. Lovely. So we've got... The new pop band, uh, but they're going to perform at Student Pride. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a fantastic, um, fantastic event. And I wish them all the luck in the world. You know, yeah, chasing your dreams, being young, living your best life on TikTok. So very, very, very good. Good for them. And, and if the three boys want to take their tops off. Or the three it. girls want to take their tops off. We're, we're supporting everyone taking their tops off. I'm not going to watch the three girls. If the three boys want to date me, and that's fine. It's the closest you've come to a top in a long time, Mike. No, I've come on many tops. That's what it is. <laughs> anyway. That's why I wear a shirt over the t-shirt. Covers that's, the stains. That's why we can't wear white Semen is a persistent stain. Anyway, so last story of the week for you. I want to talk to you about someone a bit more serious. Well, something a bit more serious. Okay. It's somebody that we... Very straight face. Well, not straight face. said serious it? face, but okay. Not straight face. <laughs> <it turns out. laughs> so a few weeks ago, we spoke about Jojo Siwa. Um, you and Lee spoke about Jojo Siwa. Yeah, me and Lee spoke about Jojo Siwa. And so how... about milking her. Yeah, so she's been milked by Nickelodeon, but I think the milk is running dry. <laughs> this is a serious story. This is, a, it is Okay. It is <laughs> very serious. So, obviously, we all know Jojo Siwa has come out as gay recently. She's mm -hmm. got a girlfriend. She's, um, you know, she's really coming, coming in herself. I need to stop saying people are coming in themselves. I, I don't think Fuck you do. <laughs> okay, so Joe Dracewa is coming into herself, coming out, is a lot more confident. Look at her. You can tell the difference in her eyes. She looks so much happier. Okay. Uh -huh. But Joe Dracewa has cut all her hair off. Okay, which is quite common. All of her hair. Most of her hair. I mean, she had a massive long ponytail down to her bunda for 10 years, didn't she? And now she looks like that. Okay. She looks like Justin Bieber. She looks like a lesbian who looks like Justin Bieber. So she's going to be on Tumblr. Okay. But <laughs> Joe Dracewa. <laughs> Tumblr even a thing anymore? Yeah, of course it is. What about, with the porn? Yeah. Oh. But they've had to like, put, put, I'll touch about that later. Anyway. Okay. But Jojo Siwa has cut all her hair off. She's come out. She's living her dream. She's still doing her music. But there has been a twist. Oh. So Jojo Siwa has obviously been an ambassador for Nickelodeon for many, many years. Yeah. She started a career on Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. They've made absolute millions out of her. Nickelodeon held their Kids' Choice Awards recently. And yeah. Jojo Siwa did not receive an invitation. Oh. I know. So there is, so she'd released a statement. She was saying, you know, I, I wish I could have come to the Nickelodeon Awards this we, uh, this weekend, but unfortunately I didn't receive an invitation. Now there's a lot of speculation online that uh -huh. it's because she's cut her hair off and she's, you know, she's more visibly LGBTQ. I'm assuming okay. she identifies as gay, but... Is it not because she's no longer a teenage person? I think she's 19. Okay, so that was... I nice. believe I believe Jojo Siwa is still a teenager. Okay. However, her fan base is still... Screaming little girls with hair bows like that. That is still her main fan base. But she's grown up, she's come out, you know, but she's not receiving invitations to events. So mm -hmm. there has been a backlash on social media. People say, tweeting Nickelodeon saying, you know, are you being homophobic? Why is Jojo not coming to this event? And they've not released any comments. They've not released any statements to mm -hmm. defend themselves. So it's looking a bit sus to me. 
Maybe they're just a bunch of Okay, so that's been the showbiz. And Elliot Page, if you're watching today, please give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. By call, I mean send your nudes over to him. I didn't say nudes, Mike. I didn't say news, but you can get me on Instagram instead. It's much more accessible on Instagram. <laughs> You're accessible on Instagram. Okay, no. Well, thanks for that, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> You're very, very welcome, Mike. Stick around, though, because next it's Mike in the Buzz. <laughs> You're watching Chew in the Cud with Jay and Mike. Now let's have him br 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 bring you the buzz. <laughs> being street then i was trying to i was trying to channel my inner diggity but it didn't diggity diggity i had that removed did you yeah it sounds quite painful actually yeah, doesn't it, it? Was, yeah. yeah i'm so street i'm almost an avenue <laughs> my goodness <laughs> are you a cul-de-sac why i am because things yes. go up you but never come out of you oh things fall out all the time <laughs> all the time <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> talking about things that you wouldn't expect have you ever bought something unusual on the tinter web oh <laughs> What, what That's do you find broadcastable? <laughs> uh, what do you define as unusual? Something unusual, unique, different. So I think I might have talked about this before, but my Loch Ness monster spaghetti spoon is unusual, uh -huh. um, but very nice. It's not that unusual because I got one off Wish as well. Okay, um, I have bought a prosthetic cock off Wish.com as well. Uh, I that thought makes... it was going to be about this big, but it was uh -huh. actually this big. It was a uh -huh. key ring. <laughs> it's welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> I buy things off the off, off Grinder, and it turns out. Uh, we don't talk about Grinder. It's not a nice place. We don't talk about Grinder. Anyway, um, oh, this is a song about a nightclub. Okay. Who's selling off its sticky carpet? Don't you talk about my sticky carpet like that? No, no, not your sticky carpet. Oh right, a nightclub sticky carpet. Uh. Um, yes, yeah, so this is Acapulco nightclub in Halifax. Feature of Halifax like nightlife for decades. Okay. And they've had the same carpet for 19 years. That is disgusting. It, it's almost as bad as one in Manchester. Um, so yeah, they, they opened in 1961. Okay. And the colourful carpet l quickly became a, a, a feature. I mean, it's not even that nice a carpet. So I quite it like looks, it. I it looks quite like, like tentacles. It. it looks like seahorses to me. I suppose it could look like seahorses. But why, why are they selling this carpet? This is my question. Because they can. Well, who's right. going to buy a square metre of sticky carpet? Quite a lot of people. Quite a lot of people. Five pounds for an A4 piece of it. Yeah. Um, and if you want to splash out on it. Like I said, Literally buy it. Not, splash not, out not, on not, it. No, as in buy. Okay. Spend more money on it. Um, that would be 50 pounds for a framed piece. Um, but That's... yeah, been inundated with emails. And people saying I want it. Because it's memorable. Oh, I, I proposed. Yeah, but come to... on. Carpet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my parents got my parents actually met in Rockworld in Manchester in like the nineties, so they met there. Oh, um, oh. And it's now a Tesco. So every time my folks come up it to is, visit, it me, is now, now it's, a, it's a little Tesco. It um, and every time my folks come up to visit me, we go into that Tesco and go, "Oh, we met here." And they actually, I think they, I believe they might have <laughs> engaged in some hanky panky in the place. But if you just told the, the nation that your parents fornicated in a nightclub in the nineties, possibly, yeah. Well, that's I don't interesting. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, Dad, did you fornicate in Rockworld in the nineties? <laughs> Probably, I don't think anyone didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, they made this memory in a club. So I would understand, you know, wanting to own a brick from the pub or something like that. But I doubt they'd want a framed piece of the soggy carpet. I mean, what fluids have been on that? Beer, bodily Jeez. fluids, vomit, blood. It, no, you wouldn't want that above your mantelpiece. Grandma, what's that? Oh, it's a bit of spunky carpet. I like that phrase. That's my new grinder name. Anyway, moving on from spunky carpet. Okay. Um... <laughs> I sometimes talk about food on the show. Okay. And we get leads to try lots of different foods. Okay. Some of them are a little bit weird. Some okay. of them are rank. How are you? How, how's your stomach? Do you have a strong stomach? It depends how you define strong stomach. If I was to get you something weird to eat? Uh, it depends what it is. Okay. I won't eat like animals or anything like that. I don't mean like bacon sandwiches because I love a bacon sandwich. But I mean like, <laughs> you know, like when they, on, I'm a celebrity and they eat like live cockroaches and stuff. Oh. I won't, won't touch that. Okay. Pigs are assholes. I don't Never eat, eat anuses. A you don't eat anuses. I won't eat a pig's anus. No. They eat mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. what uh, do I need to eat, man? The reason why, well, <laughs> apparently, um, not a pig's anus. Um, well, this is a new, new sensation that's sweeping the country. Okay. And that's a toasty. Okay. And in the toasty is a lasagna. You've sold me. 
You sold me where do I get them? Okay, um, you can't buy them. You have to make them. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Um, but yeah, lasagna toasties are now the umf, ultimate comfort meal. It's the it's got the bolognese sauce in it. It's got the, the cheese, meat, it's cheese, got the pasta. sauce. Oh yes, the whole thing in a lovely little toasty. In fact, it's beautiful. Would you like to know how to make one? I think it's quite elementary, rudimentary. Is it elementary or rud rudimentary? It, it's easy, is the answer. Dead easy. <laughs> yeah. Dead okay, easy. Dead easy. Let's, let's, let's not, how do we make a lasagna Let's not pretend we're all the thesaurus. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> what you... Thesaurus? Thesaurus. <laughs> a thesaurus? Yeah. It sounds like a, a condition you'd get downstairs. All my thesaurus is playing up. No, it's just the other way of saying thesaurus. Is it Diplodocus or Diplodocus? No, no, we're talking about the book with words in, not a dinosaur. F*** me. So the recipe we have for you, okay, I'm going to pop up on screen. Okay. Which is four slices <coughs> of the bread of your choice. Okay. Okay. Garlic butter. Oh, okay. Three sheets of cooked lasagna. Okay. Three slices of mozzarella cheese. Only I think three. it's a bit light that on is, Yeah, no, you need more cheese than that. Um, and approximately six tablespoons of bolognese sauce, with or without mince, depending whether you're vegetarian or not. Okay, so the, you've got me at the garlic butter because I make my own garlic butter at home. I've got a little okay. dish of it in the fridge, stunning. Okay, it's just garlic and butter. It's not. A... I know, but I put herbs in it and everything. So I get me garlic, me lazy garlic, and put it in the butter. Lazy garlic, you don't yeah, crush your own garlic. Do I look like I crush my own garlic? <laughs> I did not get to where I am in life by crushing my own garlic. So you could get further by crushing your own garlic. Is that a euphemism for something? I'm sure it is. Well, <laughs> crush me, you're gonna watch me crush me garlic on camera. Yeah, no, I don't. Think so. <laughs> Onlyfans.com. <laughs> But yeah, three slices of cheese. I think three slices of cheese is a bit stingy. Yeah, and there's no there's no bechamel sauce in there. Oh, they've got nah, they're lying to you. Or you could make the bechamel sauce and dip. You could do it as a dip, but I don't. I'd want to, I want the ooze. The ooze. I want the ooze as a bite. Have you never heard about my mac and cheese jacket potato? No, I haven't. Jacket potato. But I think it's quite self explanatory. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> it's like the bananas and marmite. It's just marmite and the banana on toast. It's. Yeah. Um, Anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, while, while Jay wretches up his, his lunch, just a reminder, you can always find us on social media, at The Could TV. And that brings us quite nicely onto our story of the week. Ooh, what have we got? Have you ever had something sprayed in your face for a TikTok? I have, actually, Mike. For a TikTok? Not for a TikTok. Not for a TikTok. Not for a TikTok. Oh, okay. Um, well, this is a new craze, because you know, you're body modification yeah, yeah, yeah. in a light way. Yeah, okay. so makeup tutorials. Mm. And it's a way of getting yourself some lovely little freckles. Oh, is it the, the airbrushing? It's better than airbrushing. It's using hair dye okay. to give yourself freckles. There, there's a, a product that you can use, okay. which will basically, it's for roots. So you can spray on oh, your roots. Oh, it's the L'Oreal spray. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Right? But people have found out they can just give themselves a little spritz in the face and it gives them the fake freckle <laughs> effect. What if it just came out in like a little single point on your nose? Well, they've, they've said things like there's a technique to it. Right. So you don't shake the can. You make sure you don't press it all the way. You right. just do half and you, you very, very quickly do it. Would you like to see some pictures of people that have done it? I would love to. I would absolutely okay. love to. So this is the first lady that's done it. Okay. Okay. Um, she missed... Is the words to describe? <laughs> um, she, she, was looks... not, she was not face on when okay. she did it. Um, and she pressed a little bit hard. So she looks like she's been splattered. You know, when you were a kid, you'd go on bike rides through the woods and it would splash back on the yeah, yeah. trousers. That's what she looks like. It, do, it does, yeah. So, yeah. So, fail. Fail. Well, yeah, fat lady. no from me. Fat no from me. Thumbs down. <laughs> fat no. Fat no. <laughs> okay. Wrap, isn't it? A fat no. Um, the next one we have. And this lady pressed a little bit too hard. <laughs> She looks like she's been smacked in the bracket. <laughs> Silly bit. She looks like she's been what? Smacked in the bracket. Smacked in the bracket. It's a proper north. Oh, you should be smacking right up bracket. Oh, I don't know. Just leave it alone. Right. Okay, I have questions. No, I shall leave that alone. I have what it's a bracket. Your bracket is like your face, isn't it? Well, it's a smack oh, do you on know what? She looks like she's been punched in the face. <laughs> um, I have questions. Why do her eyes look like that? Why do her eyes? She's got her eyes closed. Because you don't want to spray hair dye into your, into your eyes, do you? So but she's not doing it inside the car, is she? Yeah, she's doing it inside the car. What a stupid cow. <laughs> you think that's bad? She, there's another picture of her. It's because she, she didn't like the first attempt. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so she went a bit further. So, again, my other question is that the first girl in the advert you showed us looks actually quite natural. Like, yeah, they could yeah, be freckles. Yeah. Um, she looks like she's... I've been scrapping down outside McTucky's on a Friday it night. Looks like she's been trying to rim a coal miner. I'm sorry. She's <laughs> like, they're quite. Oh, I've been down pit. Get down mine. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> That's disgusting. It is. 
I mean, the thing is, you know, with these hair dyes is they are, they can actually be quite permanent as well. I mean, I used to dye... They are my, permanent hair. They are permanent. Yeah. I used to dye my facial hair when it was, like, blonde and really patchy. I used to dye, dye my beard. And, yeah. you know, it would take a good eight weeks to wash out, and that's washing, you know, washing it constantly. But that, she's gonna, she's not going to be able to go to the shops for weeks. <laughs> she's going to have people calling the NSPCC thinking she's been knocked about. I mean, not the NSPCC, because that's for kids, isn't it? But, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> But in other news, she's you know she's ready for Halloween. Go as a panda. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah. A bit early this year, love. But yeah, fair play to her. Fair play. But yeah, I, I thought that was a brilliant trend. I've seen better trends on TikTok. I, M- much better trends on TikTok. But not as funny. Um, no, no, I'm going to no, say I'm, that. Just people have I'm hearing from the gallery. The that if I don't agree, I'll be fired. So yes, it's very good, Mike. Thank you for that. Thank you. That's all we asked for. Just a little bit of pandering. See what I did there, pandering. <laughs> Very <laughs> clever. <laughs> Help me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mike. I love hearing about your internet browsing habits. Stick around because coming up, we have got our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing Ooza Kazooza, where Mike is going to sing the songs obstructed by a kazoo. Mike, will you, you know, shove along, hop along, go on, do do do, go on. Rude. Game of the Week. So Mike, whenever you're ready, if you want to play as a tune. Okay, now, I normally play this with them. Um, I normally play this with Lee, um, so I have to pick some old songs, but I've picked some modern things. Oh, We're actually using it? my playlist. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> What's on your playlist, Grandad? <laughs> oh my God. We can work from home. <laughs> well, yeah? God, it was, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go on. See? <laughs> okay. Boss in there. Your next one. Okay. Uh. It sounds like it sounds like something by Little Mix. But I don't think it is Little Mix. No, it's not Little Mix. Is it Little Mix? No. No. <laughs> this is a shout out to my ex. No. I can't get no sleep. Insomnia. I don't think that's right. Okay. I don't know that one. It did sound like shout out to my ex though. Even okay. though that was a little mix. That's where I was coming from. Did 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 it it did. Right, anyway, come on, mate, do us another one. Okay. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I don't know the name of the song, but it's nothing can stop me. Moving on up. That one. It's moving on up, my yes. people, yes. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get the song because of the lyrics, yeah. No. Okay. No. Oh, I don't know. Pass, pass, I pass. <laughs> Is, um, can you play that sax by Fleur East? I really love that song. Yeah. Every time it comes on in town, I absolutely lose my mind. It's brilliant. Okay. There's no mountain high enough. No. no, that's not right. Ain't no river. Ain't no river long enough. No. No. It was listened to the man by George Ezra. George Ezra. 
You mean just Who the f is George Ezra? He's the big ginger guy that sings songs like that. I thought it was Ed Sheeran. Huh? Ed Sheeran's the big ginger guy. No, 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 no. He's the small ginger guy. Oh my god, why are there so many gingers in music? Okay. <laughs> Is it Kings of Leon or something crazy like that? What? Is it Kings of Leon or some weird No, it's Adam and the Ant, Prince Charming. It's who? Adam and the Ant, Prince Charming. Ridicule is nothing to be scared of. Okay. I, I, am I missing something here? <laughs> Shout out to my ex, Little Mix. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Right, okay, go on, blow us the trombone, Mike, okay. go on. Bounce with it, drop with it, lean with it, rock with it, step with it. All my ladies, pop your back, pop your back with it, lean with it, rock with it, off TikTok. Yes. Yes! I'm better at this, I am so much better at this than Lee. I. It's dark, difficult to be worse. I mean, true. Is it something like Beyonce? <laughs> It's pink. You've what? been talking in your sleep. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The only pink songs I know, I know the one which is like, I'm coming up, which is basically about taking pills, isn't it? It didn't. It took I'm me a long coming time. Out. It's coming up. I'm coming, coming up, out. So, so you I've got to get, get the, the party started. Shirley Bassey sang that song. All oh, right, okay. Right? I don't think Shirley Bassey's ever taken drugs. <laughs> I reckon she has. I reckon she was right going back in the 80s. Anyway. Go on, give us a, a tootle on your throat pipe, Mike. That's <laughs> very different. <laughs> yes. Is it Take That? Huh? Is it Take That or no. the Backstreet Boys? No. Is it a boy band? No. Is it a girl band? No. Is it a boy? No. Is it a girl? No. So it's not a boy nor a girl? Well, it's, it's a group. Of boys or girls? Boys. Just boys. Is it boys own? No. Is it Blazing Squad? Blazing Squad? Yeah, oh my God, literally. So I have not listened to Blazing Squad in years, but I found them on Spotify this morning and I've now been killing out Blazing Squad all morning. That's why I've been talking like a road man, like I'm from London all day. But no, is it, so if it's a boy band, is it? <laughs> but in the end, it's Linkin Park it, in the end. It is, yes. Yes. Work Bitch by Britney. Is it? Yeah. It didn't sound like it. Yeah, it did. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that lovely rendition of our Queen Britney Spears. You know, she's having a baby. Is she? She's having a baby. Oh, that's yeah. nice for her. Oh. <laughs> Say yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's. I, I know the song because it's always on when I go out. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it? It's. It's something like Kesha. It's one of those girls. 
Oh, come on, it's on in bar pop all the time. I should know this. Is it Britney? No. Ellie it's, Goulding? It's My House by um, Jodie Harsh. I know who Jodie Harsh is. Everybody's welcome in my house. Well, I thought... I, I, it sounded like Ellie Goulding. Okay. We've got time for another couple ones, Mike. Yep. <laughs> Is it Lil Nas X? No. Well, it should be. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know Lil Nas X. Okay. <laughs> Only do the ones I know. I'll send you a approved playlist. Okay. Um, I don't know. Was that Cher? Little Mix Blood Magic. Oh, it was little, fucking Little Mix again. I thought you'd get that one because well, you're know, saying Little Mix. I didn't because seconds. it started to grate me cheese now, this game. Oh, right. Okay. Grate your cheese. Grating me cheese. Grating me cheese. That Great euphemism. It. The only one by Sam Smith. I don't like Sam Smith. I'm sure they're a lovely person, right? But I just don't get the music. It's like Adele, right? I don't get Adele's music. I don't get Sam Smith's music. But I don't think they're trying to appeal to me. Right, so go on, skip past Sam Smith. I need one more. Give us another one. <laughs> From the chandelier. <laughs> See ya, chandelier. Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was fantastic, Mike. Thank you so much for those beautiful, beautiful musical numbers. After we take a quick break, we have got that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show, it is that science that is. That science that is. Oh God, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the lab. Well, it's nice to be welcomed and loved, isn't it? Um, I've come here because it's a very special that science that is. Okay. Because it's your first one. Okay. okay, so it's my initiation into science. Your main initiation. We, we need to make sure that you're ready for science. Okay. I say science. We're going to talk about sexual health. Oh, God. Okay. What was am, I get, am I getting a lecture? Because I don't want a lecture. I'm not getting a lecture. No, let's just talk about safer sex, because we, we okay. all know what these things are. Condoms. Lovely Johnny's. Water balloons. I will need I will Water balloons. that just in case. Yeah. Load them up and bat them around the studio. They're in date. That's good. Fantastic. <laughs> They're in date. Fantastic. I mean, did you know as well, you shouldn't actually put a condom in your wallet? Because I was always told, I'll keep one in your wallet in case, but it uh -huh. makes the rubber break. So like, if you keep it in your wallet, then you use it, you're more likely to snap it. Oh. Useful fact there for you. Yeah. I, I, I love condoms. Oh, it's um, very luby. It's very, they're very luby. Oh my God. But yeah, they're great fun. And it's... as well, if a guy ever says to you, I can't get them on because they're too small, look at that. I, I was, was going to say that that's a lie. That's because... a bare face lie. You can get that. Do you know what I mean? See, condoms are fun. Yeah. See? Yeah, it's good. Problem with these though, no no oil-based lubricants. Oh yeah, because you've got different lubes for they, different purposes. They um, perish. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. No condoms. See, the problem with doing that is you, you can't, see, you can't pick, pick, them, pick them, up them up afterwards. Yeah. But they're very uh, resilient. Yeah. Lovely. Very resilient. Yeah, don't destroy the set. I'll try. <laughs> Cool, See what else have we got on this table, um, Mike? Because I'm seeing so, loads of stuff. See lots of stuff. So you, you can get these through the posters. Sexual health kits. Okay. Okay. Um, so you get like throat swabs that were all, you know, COVID based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I thought we'd do, we'd do a HIV test. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been tested quite recently. I go every like three, four months or so. Me too. So, Because yeah. I, I, I'm on one of these wonderful things. Oh, the exposure prophylaxis. I can never say the full thing, but yeah, I'm on prep too. You've got to go every three months with my yep. place to get blood tests. Mm -hmm. And they do, like, with me, they do a full screening as well, like swabs, tests. But I'm really squeamish with blood. 
You're not so, good with blood, are you? I'm not. I'm not no, good with blood. This is why I'm not in, this, not in over there because you can do this yourself. Mm. Yeah, but some people get very faint, don't they? Yeah. I do. I do get really faint, but you're here. You're gonna. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We've got paramedics on standby. <laughs> uh, we've got what on standby? Paramedics. Yeah, we do. What have we the got first here? thing we need to do, okay, right, is we need to sterilise your area. I beg your pardon. You heard. We need to sterilise your area. Areas. Okay. Right. So. So which? So where do you do it? Which finger? You pick a finger. Uh, but I'm going to milk you with from blood. Okay, so I'm going to do something very. I'm seriously going to look away because I yeah, can't. That's, I can't. That's, look, that's at okay. look at the okay. panic in the, the panic face. I really face. hate blood. <laughs> that's okay. So do you, do you want me to sanitize you? Yeah. Okay. So I, I'll sanitize myself. Okay. So you'll see. Steady, easy. Just wank off the tip of my finger, and I trust you've washed your hands as well before this segment. Well, you've just seen me handle a condom full of lube, so I'm very slippy so, now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little little lance thing. Okay, and just gently, just tap your finger. Seriously? Yeah, just gently. Okay, so you're ready. I'm ready when you are. Sharp scratch. Okay. 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 Brave boy. Okay. And then we'll just get this little bit of blood here, like that. And we're just going to, just to squeeze it through. Brave Jay. Brave Big brave Jay. boy. Big brave Jay. And then, there we go. Oh, oh that lovely like blood. There we go. All I mean, the thing blood. is as well, like, like for me, it's uh -huh. it's the actual act of piercing my skin. Okay. It doesn't hurt that much. I don't like seeing blood. No, that's fine. When I... So, oh, I'm going to cover that up for a moment and then we get a plaster. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> don't look. I said, don't look. Stay, keep your eyes closed. There we go. All done. All done. There we go. Sharp scratch, sharp scratch. <laughs> Okay, now. <laughs> oh. There we go. Just don't look. Just don't look. Okay. We're not waiting for a taxi. <laughs> <What's> Uber. <that? laughs> no, because I've told that if you've got bleeding, you've got to put your hand up above your heart so it doesn't kill you. It's a pinhole, pretty. It's not. You're it's a not... pinhole. <laughs> no, it's, it's... Well done. Well done. Big brave boy. You can have some Percy pigs afterwards. <laughs> Is that what the Percy pigs were for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got very excited when I brought Percy okay. pigs to the studio. Okay. Yes. So that was, in all seriousness, my, I'm yeah. a bit of a fanny with blood. Yes. It didn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, It took right? literally a couple of seconds. And you can that. do it yourself as well. Right. So I'm going to do mine. Okay. New lancet. There we go. Little prick. And then... It's a few drops, really, isn't it? It's need? just, you don't need much. Keep dropping your little drops into the into the van. Is other people's blood a problem for you as well? <laughs> Just blood in general. I can't even look at tomato ketchup on a plate. I'm not even going to lie. Quite a bit in there now. So you don't even need someone to do it if you're, you know, an adult. Um, I'll put that somewhere safe. Mine's still bleeding. So then what we do is we're going to post those off. Still bleeding. To the left. Well, it'll take a while to stop looking at it. Okay, so what happens now? We've got the blood in the, the thing. <laughs> you just looked at my blood yeah, then, didn't I, you? Yeah, I know. I'm going to spew me the minute I come out of this studio, Matt, let me tell you. Okay. Um, okay, but what happens now? We've so got now, the blood in the tube. We've got the blood in the tube. Okay, so they're going to get posted off. Okay. To a lab. Okay. And then in the next day or two, I'm going to get a text message with the results on. Okay. Okay, it's all barcoded, it's anonymous. That's yeah. really good. Um, so if you consider, so if you don't want to go into a, a place and you're a bit concerned about stigma and stuff, you don't have to. That's you do it really all at good. Home. Like especially if you can do it at home and you get texted the results. Yeah. Because sometimes when you go to like an actual sexual health clinic in person, you have to wait like a week for the results. Mm -hmm. And that like if you've especially if you've like done something a bit risky, it can be like the most nerve wracking. It's so ever. scary. Yeah. Um, I, I once got some results back that were unclear. That and, and to receive that text. I, I, well, I didn't get a text about phone call saying Ooh. we need to do this again because it's unclear. Okay. And that sort of thing. Um, so it's a bit. It can be really nerve wracking. Mm. Yeah. But there's so many support charities out there. Okay? Yeah. You've got people like Terence Higgins Trust. They're fantastic. They but, do some really good work. Yeah. That you know, even if you're concerned about it, they'll just talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when I was looking to start prep, because obviously being trans, there's not that much information about prep. So I went on the Terence Higgins website, yep. and there was loads of good stuff on there. I actually went on a web chat with one of their advisors. Brilliant. That was really helpful. So that's they're really good. And there's George House Trust as well George in Manchester. House Trust. Yes. They're really good. And yep. the LGBT Foundation are amazing. They're fantastic. Yes, guys. exactly. And the, you know they support all over the country as well. So it's mm. not just a Manchester base. Even though they're based in Manchester, you they're happy to help anywhere anybody. in the world as well. Yeah. Like. Which is good. Please stop looking. Sorry. Please stop looking at your finger. Because <laughs> that's all I can see is. But yeah, no, they do so, some fantastic work all over the world, which is brilliant. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then, uh, of course, prep. 
Yeah, which is now available to pretty much everybody in the NHS. Yeah, yeah there's two different that. types of prep. Okay, this is the most common one. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, which is I can never pronounce, which is a bit shite. Which is tenofovir. Just blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Like they always come out with really weird next prep, right? And when you look at them, right? This is my prep, so I'm happy to share. That's the little. <laughs> Can't take that, Jay. <laughs> They put this um, little sachet to absorb moisture in them. And yeah. one time I woke up and I was really hungover and I nearly took it thinking it was my prep. It is a fair sized tablet, but they're really easy tablet. to swallow. Yeah. Pardon right, so that's that's a bit of a different size there, Jay. Look, I was hungover, mate. Yeah, okay. um, but yeah, one a day. I... There's different ways of taking prep as well, like there's daily prep, which I'm on. I, you're yeah, on I'm well. on daily as well. You can yeah. take like occasional prep, which is where you take it before and after. Yeah, um, two hours like, before. And yeah, and then two days after, after a risk. Yep. Um, so there's different ways of taking it. Mm -hmm. And it's available. Regardless of sexual orientation, mm. which I think is brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. So what is it that PrEP actually does? It does stop you from... Does it stop so you from it, getting the HIV virus? It's, it... it's another way of protecting yourself is the best way of describing it. So it's another type of condom. Okay. Right? I personally still use um, condoms with my, my promiscuous sex. Yeah. Yeah, and because it's an extra level of protection for me. It's just an extra tool in your arsenal, isn't it? Exactly, it's literally, literally, yeah, yeah. literally up the yeah. arsenal. Literally up the arsenal. It doesn't stop you from getting everything, though, does it? It doesn't stop, no. And that's why condoms are still so important. Mm. Because you can still get chlamydia and hepatitis and all that other... But you can get vaccinated things. against hepatitis. I've been vaccinated. Majority of, yeah. yeah. And it's how effective, it's not 100% effective, no, 97%? About, up to 97%, okay. depending on the variant of HIV. Right. That, that's, that's attacking you. Okay. That's really good. I think everyone should be on prep. I mean, it's so easy to get hold of. I went to one appointment at Sexual Health Centre, explained my situation, you know, that I am, you know, at the time I was single, having casual sex as, mm -hmm. you know, a bisexual trans man, I thought best to protect myself against that. Definitely. And things like, you know, other he hepatitis. I've had the HPV vaccines as well, because if you- midway through that. If you've somebody, you know, that is having casual sex, I mean, I've still got my, you know, my insides. Um, there is a risk <laughs> of things like cervical cancer for trans people as well, so yeah. it's really important you protect yourself. But exactly. What might I ask is this? That's a throat swab. Uh, do you want a throat swab yourself? Go on, I'll throat swab myself. Okay. What, what do we do with this then? You shove it down the back of your throat and then put it in a tube. Like a COVID test. Oh, right, okay. So it's a bougie COVID test. Go on, we'll do that then. Okay, you're going to do that. Okay. Let's do that. So th these are dead simple, to be fair. I've done them before. I, I want you to gag so much right now. Just to destroy your street credibility. <laughs> no gag reflex, reflex whatsoever. whatsoever. And you just snap it off, <laughs> pop it in the tube like that, screw the top on, and does that go in the same the Same bag. Same, same bag. bag. All goes to the same place. Fantastic. So yeah. So not. <laughs> and they've got just the barcode, so that's how you get. They know yeah. exactly who's is who. So that's really good. Exactly. Yeah. So you don't need to put your name or address or anything on it. No. Nope. It's all completely. That's really good. Exactly. Cool. Um, so that that's sexual health for you. Because that's science, that is. That's science, that is. Okay. That's only a little prick. I know. I You're used to, to little pricks. I am, unfortunately. I only, <laughs> I only ever seem to get little pricks these days. Well, lucky for you. <laughs> but that's almost at the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media, at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and, of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.